Well, Paul, by now all the construction's definitely tipped off drivers. Something is wrong with Belle Isle Bridge. But what it wasn't until we showed them just what they were driving over that the real concern from drivers came out. It's the stretch of road once taken for granted. Now a bridge over troubled finances. We cannot afford, as a state of Oklahoma, to cut funding for infrastructure in the state. With a crumbling Belle Isle backdrop, state Democrats blamed Republicans, claiming leadership plans to cut future repair funds to balance a budget. For drivers on the bridge, politics, the least of their worries. Stuff falling off, you can tell there's, you know, concrete chunks falling off. And they're talking about state capital. They all look under this. Uh, it's not real safe. Not real safe at all. A fast track seven million dollars promises to make it safe, but until then, would you find another way to get around? Yes, I would. And when we show the pictures to Manuel Gates, who drives Belle Isle daily, urgency needs to be fixed now. Help for an aging piece of OKC that can't come fast enough. And Republican Representative Mike Sanders issuing that side's response today, saying the Democratic claims are simply not true. Transportation is of the highest priority because it is essential to the economic growth and prosperity of our state. Under Democrat control, transportation funding remained flat for decades, resulting in the crumbling infrastructure that Republicans have made great efforts to repair. We're live near Belle Isle Bridge, Morgan Chesky, KOCO, 5 News.